introduce you to our psychologist on the show uh, today. He's a licensed business psychologist and also a lecturer at the Department of Psychology, University of Ghana. He is Dr. Collins Bedu Ajiman. Thank you so much for joining me. Good Thank to have you, you too. here. Thank you. First of all, I want to find out, are you a victim? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. no. I would have said fortunately, <laughs> but well, I know as, as a psychologist, you have dealt with people who are experiencing this. What are some of the most heart-wrenching stories that yes, you've heard? that is why I say unfortunately. Yeah. No. So the unfortunate is I feel for the many people who have gone through this particular situation. Yeah. And just as you mentioned, we have interacted with a number of people who are victims. Mm -hmm. I must say stakeholders. It could be the owners of some of these institutions themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, some are also customers, customers. suppliers who yeah. were having dealings with some of these businesses, mm -hmm. as well as employees and employers themselves. Exactly. So obviously, it's very devastating if you look at it from a mental health perspective. Mm -hmm. And I am sure as we move into the discussion, you may have a number of uh, questions to ask. Yeah. But I must say, young and old who are stakeholders of these institutions are suffering alike. Mm. It doesn't matter um, whatever monies they've been promised to be given, even the time factor as yeah. to when they'll be given those, ten, those monies and how much they'll be given. Yeah. I heard you say you personally know a friend who invested 150,000 Ghana yeah. cities. Yeah. And if your level of hope is 20,000, the next question is even the 20,000, when is when it? When is it coming? So a number of people are going through the strain and pain of the mental health impact mm -hmm. of this whole financial um, cleanup. Yeah. First of all, let me ask, you know, people are saying that a lot of these people who invested their monies in these, um, you know, some of these financial sectors yeah. are greedy. Because they, they, are, they are saying that, well, um, you know, you could have invested in a business and allowed the money to grow the natural way. But some of you want quick money. And so you go and invest here because you know that maybe after six months, I'm going to get almost, you know, 50% of the amount. And so then it's your fault that this is happening to you. Well, Bella, we shouldn't be quick mm. to judge people harshly. So what I want to say to all Ghanaians However, the situation, let us not be quick to, to judge, judge harshly mm. people. Mm. Goko Security was viewed as one of the most stable yeah. fund management companies to invest your money. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean those who invested many years ago were greedy. Were greedy, yeah. Obviously, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. So, granted, some of the financial institutions given how much returns they were given, yeah. raises questions if we were to audit the steps one need to go through before considering which particular company I need to invest my money in, mm. granted. Yeah. But we can't generalize and say that all people who invested were greedy. Yeah. If that is the situation, why do we have business institutions mm -hmm. training people to become uh, financial managers, accountants, and others? And Obviously, investment are part of the development of every economy. Mm -hmm. The fact that people invested their money and there are challenges does not necessarily mean all oh. those who invested are greedy people. Okay. All right. Yes. Now, psychologically, how do we explain what people are going through? And let's start off with people who um, invested money and now can't get access to this money. Psychologically, yeah. what is the effect? So, first of all, let me look at it from a macro perspective. Mm -hmm. The whole idea of breaking news, seven banks taking over, yeah. for me, has not been handled well. Okay. What I mean is that to break the names, break hearts. Okay. So the way we communicate in such eventualities, mm -hmm. we need to look at it as a country. So are you referring to the media especially? It could be the, where the news is emanating yes. from. Okay. It could be the media houses. Mm. It could be who hears and who says what to another person. Okay. All of us are involved mm. when it comes to breaking news. I hear it from a particular station, and I call, hey, Efia, have you heard what is going on? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's also and so ago. Mm -hmm. That connotes pressure. Yeah. So the breaking news could actually break hearts. Mm -hmm. So let me look at it from that angle, yeah. where the psychological implications, the question you ask comes mm -hmm. in. Secondly, 
let's look at the terminologies around the whole exercise. Yeah. If you content analyze the news item since 2017, with the first two, I yeah. call it kaput, mm. capital bank UT, mm. kaput, mm -hmm. meaning collapse. If you look at it from that time till today, some call it financial crisis. Mm -hmm. Some call it financial cleanup and many others. If we look at the names alone, it should tell us there will be mental health or psychological implications. Yeah. If it is crisis, crisis in what sense? Yeah. It is not just financial crisis. It is crisis for all stakeholders who are involved. Mm -hmm. If we call it financial cleanup, we clean them up to fill which barrels? Okay. The barrels of mental health. So financial sector cleanup to fill the barrels of mental health you think that's of all what, individuals. That's, that's what's happening. For me, if mm -hmm. I am to meet any of the experts who are leading this, mm -hmm. I see myself as a professional psychologist. Okay. So let the financial control aspects see themselves as such. I look at it from my professional perspective. Mm -hmm. I think about the individual, how they will behave, how they fail, how their families will behave, mm -hmm. how this affects a chain of others. Yeah. Let them also look at it from a financial perspective. They are controlling the financial sector. Mm -hmm. So as they clean up, they are filling the barrels of what healthy people with unhealthy what feelings mm -hmm. and unhealthy thoughts. Those present the psychological challenges. But it's necessary, it I is, mean, according to them. Yes, it's necessary, but we need to have also mitigated the foreseeable challenges that comes to the fore. Mm. I recently had a meeting with a very well-exposed individual, mm -hmm. having worked at macro companies, multinational companies. He said something that I learned a lot from. Okay. The UN and others, when there are crises in any country, they send six different constitutes of what? Individuals. Okay. It could be an economist, it could be an urban developer, it could be they don't do away with the psychologist. Mm. What are they going to do? These six people get to the country, they are to do the preliminary analysis, giving a holistic assessment of the situation. Okay. Their report feeds into whatever decisions they make. All that I'm trying to say is that yes, it is necessary such steps get taken. What holistic assessment approach. went into this discussion? Were psychologically uh, psychologists, um, you know, approached before you know these decisions were taken? Well, I can't speak entirely to that because if psychologists were duly approached, we should have seen the interventions being demonstrated by these psychologists. Mm. In a nutshell, I'm asking, we have a mental health authority. What is their mandate? Okay. We need to, it's about time we begin looking at incorporating how people will fail mentally, how people will get affected psychologically with every single decision every single policy direction that we make. But if we're going to do that, then we never will take any decision because if you're worried about how the next person is going to feel and you still have to do something that is right for the industry. We need to start from somewhere, Bella. Okay. It's a gradual process. We, do, we use not have mental health authority. Mm. Now we have it. We use not have a council regulating psychological practice. Mm. Now we have them. We used not have a vibrant Ghana Psychological Association. Now we have them. We used to have only one department since 1967, mm -hmm. training psychologists in Ghana. Now we have different, different institutions training psychologists. We used not have a number of people giving psychosocial support in our hospitals, clinics, and now we are having them. Yeah. It's a process. But we are failing to adequately make use of the very provisions we are making. Yeah, okay. And that is what is plowing back. Check the news items. Mm -hmm. One media caption says, we will turn the country upside down mm -hmm. if we don't get all our monies. Is that a cause this, to worry? this is a national security issue. When emotions begin to boil, when people continue to feel anxious, when people continue to get worried, mm -hmm. when people continue to feel hopeless, helpless, the pains continue to rise. Yeah. People feel they are limited. They have no options. 
it becomes an emotional national security issue. Mm. We shouldn't downplay how people feel okay. and how this, these micro feelings can feed into macro feelings, leading to how many people will begin to behave. All right. Well, I'm speaking to Dr. Collins Ajiman Bedu, and he is a licensed psychologist, and we have a lot more questions. If you have any questions as well, let us know via social media at TV3 Ghana, also at Bella Mundi, and send us a WhatsApp as well. Let's take a look at another story of someone explaining, um, you know, what she went through after losing her money that she invested at Midland Savings. I don't know what they are doing. They've not told us anything. Some people have fixed deposits, and you know they... You know that due to the current unemployment situation in this country, we the graduates, after what we joined the informal sector, and now we are we've saved a little money over here. They don't want to give us our money. We plead on the government to help us. We are really facing a lot of challenges regarding our welfare. I plead with the media to help us retrieve our monies. Even getting money to eat is a problem. Why are you doing yeah, this to us? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yes, and those are some aggrieved customers of Midland Savings as well. And um, Doc, let me ask, you talked about the fact that we didn't handle the communication well. What about the companies that have been affected? Because regardless of what they might be feeling, there are millions of customers or thousands of them who are waiting for their money. And for some of them, they complain that communication was the problem because I don't know what's happening. You're not telling me what's happening to my money when I'm going to receive it. And all that is aggravating my situation because if I can't pay my school yeah. fees, I don't have money for my kids and I'm falling sick and I can't even find money to pay for it, then you must be the reason why I'm feeling this way. Because at least if you let me know that, yeah. you, let's see, next week we'll see what we can do. At least you cool tempers. I, I, I entirely agree with you. If we don't communicate properly through the right channels, rumors fester. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things that aggravates the entire situation. Yeah. Explanations may have been given by the committee, um, those entrusted with decisions regarding receivership, mm -hmm. takeover shape, or whatever. But if we don't communicate through the right channels, then rumors will fester. Okay. And when people are driven by rumors, they become highly agitated. Mm -hmm. And people will begin to act when the, what they may be thinking about may not necessarily be, be the, the situation. Case. Yeah. Another thing is, if you look at the investment patterns, it is not only those who speak English who invested. Mm -hmm. My mother, who comes from Asante Mambo, may appreciate the language of the heart. Yeah. She. Mm -hmm. My father, who may come from the north, may appreciate Frafra, Dagbani, or what have we. Mm -hmm. How do we communicate some of the uprisings and how? Roadmap to ensure that at least people are protected. Calm your heart down. This is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Once again, psychology comes in. One popular psychological catchphrase mm -hmm. that is selling, helping organizations to thrive and survive and sustain themselves is emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. It's about how you feel and feeling for the other person and how these two combine to have results, yeah. productivity. You just heard one woman say, we come here, they don't tell us anything. What does this mean? Mm -hmm. The way we are managing communication has not been the best. But because would it people, make any difference if I'm yes, agitated and you're telling me next week, I come next week, you say, oh, madam, give me some more time. It will worsen the situation, won't it? And that is the more reason why if it had been properly planned, mm. you weigh the emotional side of the people. Okay. How should we communicate? What do we communicate? Who do we communicate to? Mm -hmm. What language do we use in communicating? These are all the things. Mm. You don't just take decisions. You must engage the people. All right. If it becomes, like I said, breaking news, you are breaking the news for the first time to the hearers, meaning those involved, all stakeholders, mm -hmm. have not been engaged. Yeah. Something is coming up. Something is coming up. Change readiness. Yeah. You create it, and people will now begin to sensitize themselves. The way they would have reacted if the change readiness was given will be different from when it spontaneously broke into them. Yeah. So to me... There is a lot that we could we do. Could do. Okay. And I must say, what is happening, it could be anybody. Mm -hmm. Any change-driven circumstance 
can make one become a mental health patient. Okay. Someone dies and all of a sudden you lose control about your behavioral patterns. It's a change-driven circumstance. What is happening in the financial sector is serious change-driven circumstance. Mm -hmm. I invested, there is a quick change. I can't sign my check and have my own money. Yeah. It's a change. I invested, I cannot see my relationship manager. It's a change. I invested, I'm told there is a receiver. Mm -hmm. It's a change. Mm -hmm. I invested, management have been changed, there is a new person reshuffling. It's a change. Any change-driven circumstance can make any okay. one of us become mental health patients. Let's and talk, that about, is how let's talk about the trauma is. that people are facing because, I mean, obviously there are some people who, yeah. um, you know, mentally are not stable anymore, going through all kinds of health challenges, uh, some are suicidal. What are some of the stories that you've heard and, you yeah. know, how are they dealing with it? With the situation. So basically, a number of people have reported different, different psychosocial challenges. Mm. The foremost, look at it from the masculine perspective. Okay. Some, their self-confidence has been affected. Mm. Some, their levels of self-esteem has been affected simply because this is who I used to be. Mm. This is who, who I, I, am, I yeah. am now. And so there is a huge gap. Many people are going through adjustment difficulties. Some, because of their investment returns, mm. have taken their children to the so-called big schools, yeah. Montessori-like, yeah. and not my LA or MA that I went. Mm. These people would have to now adjust. So adjustment challenges are in. Yeah. Some people are still in a state of denial. When I say they are in a state of denial, they still think, no, this is not true. I will get my money, mm -hmm. I will get my money. But the signs are clear, it may be difficult, and even if you may get, you may then not you get may the not. right amount that you invested at the right time. Yeah. And so a lot of people are in a state of denial. And that is where if people contemplate on a state of hopelessness, there is a lot of despair, mm -hmm. there is a lot of anxiety, anxiety, anxious moment and all that. It makes people begin to lose their sense of self. Okay. Their sense of identity. And now that is where suicidal behavior begins yes. to set in. So that is people begin to think, begin to have thoughts, mm -hmm. begin to idealize that what am I going to, to do? do? I am hopeless. There is nothing I can do. I'm useless. And those thoughts, the moment they set in, we refer to them as suicidal behaviors. Mm. And then people, on the average, may begin to reflect on exiting as a way of escape of pain mm -hmm. or the disappointment that has happened. Yeah. These are serious situations that a number of people are reporting, how they feel. Mm -hmm. They feel they are better gone than alive, simply because they are in a state of despair. Yeah. They feel hopeless. They feel there is no way out. But that is where we as professionals, we tell them, Financial cleanup. Mm -hmm. The cleanup are filling the barrels of mental health of people. We are there to support them. Okay. We are there to give them hope. How, how do you support them? I mean, if I'm going through a problem, I, I don't know how I'm going to open up to you and say, I don't have money anymore. And you tell me, okay, we'll deal with it. How? Good. So, Bella, is a responsibility that is laid upon everyone. Okay. For health care, now we use what we call biopsychosocial approach. The bio part is physical health, okay. whereby the medical doctors, lab technicians, they check and say you have malaria, mm -hmm. so we take this. The psychosocial part, the psychological part is what we do, mm -hmm. looking at the emotional state and how this reports on the behavioral pattern. Yeah. The social part is you and I, family mm -hmm. members, neighbors, friends, mm -hmm. family. We all have a part to play. Let me start with the social part. What we can all do to all those who feel hopeless, all those who think there is no option, there is no way out, I am finished. Mm -hmm. What we can do is to assure these people and calm them down. What we can do is to share with them the fact that life, we have two curves, mm -hmm. left and right. Mm -hmm. We can always not enjoy the sunlight without seeing what? The dark side of it. Otherwise, we can't move on. We can't grow. We can't just see the next no, day. But this is all talk. It is true. It's all talk. But it calms the person down. It can prevent people from executing whatever 
plans they have okay. in the case of suicidal ideations. Mm. And so we shouldn't just see it as all talks. Mm -hmm. Now what we need to do next as individuals, what options do we have to discuss with them? Okay. Some of us may have some skills. Some of us may have learned some trade. Mm -hmm. It's about time when these things are coming up, we begin to think of how we can begin to activate some of these things. Mm -hmm. And that is where change readiness, if we had prepared the minds of people, people now begin to gradually activate all these activities, trade, skills, options oh, that they that, have, yeah. begin to put them in place. Mm -hmm. There are a number of people who may have been affected as a result of the cleaner by losing their jobs. Mm -hmm. Some started work 25 years ago. They never wrote application. They never did their yeah. CVs to have jobs. Exactly. Some don't even have an idea how to prepare CVs mm. to look for new options, new opportunities, and all that. There are some who have had their salary slashed. So if they were earning Certainly. seven thousand because of the consolidation, now they've reviewed their salaries. Exactly. They're earning maybe two thousand Ghana. And so these ones will have adjustment problems, and they will need professional help to deal with the psychological implications. Some are getting depressed, mm. some are getting stressed, some are getting anxious. Some In the case dying. of those who are surviving, work overload. Mm -hmm. Because some must go home, the same work must, be, must done. be done. And then we are eyeing growth and prospect. High target. So work overload. Mm. People get stressed. People get devastated. People are anxious. Sense of job insecurity. Yeah. Will I be retained and all that? And that is where, for me, I commend one financial institution, CBG. Mm -hmm. Before the takeover, the displacement exercise, CBG teamed up with Ghana Psychological Association, provided psychosocial intervention to all their staff throughout the country. Really? There were some staff who were still complaining. And yes, the complaints would be sure there. The future but was. we know we've not heard of any death news. Well, because maybe they have not been reported? Not necessarily. They are following up on all their people. Mm. And I must say, Even those who it's have been a little. good step they took. Okay. We have not seen this mm. at the macro level. And they must be commended for the step they took. And they are still taking steps to becoming a financial institution that is friendly as far as mental health policies and initiatives are concerned. But there are still people who don't have jobs. And that is why they continue to build it up. We need to start from somewhere. Okay. If all financial institutions have started with psychosocial support team, psychosocial structures, we would have helped people before, during, and after. Okay. These psychosocial team would have directed management how we should communicate to customers, how we should communicate to suppliers, mm. and that would have become part of the structure. That will become part of Bank of Ghana's decision making on receivership. We don't just help people receive their tokens of money. We should also have psychologists who will support the receivership process. Okay. And set up units to help people. If or nothing at all, how do you start searching for a job? Hmm. What skills do you have? We can do assessment to find out the profiling, okay. the skill set yeah. of people, yeah. find out what these people could do. Hmm. These banks, as part of the receivership, for those who have ideas, after being supported by business psychologists, how they can oh, start can these be. business ideas. Yeah. These people, there could have been another fund to support these ones who want to do something small on their own, even if they are not getting their fat money they invested. Okay. These That's are all workable options mm. that if the receivership process, we also align it with what? Mental health support, business psychological support to help people begin to ignite okay. new ideas, their small businesses and all those things with a small fund to support these ones as comfort loans mm -hmm. in addition to whatever What's small monies they will be getting. Okay. So it's all about planning the process, doing a holistic mm. assessment of the impact. But if we say financial crisis and we leave the crisis to giving tokens of money to people and then we leave the mental health implications we are rather solving one big problem, creating another big one. Mental health issues will soon be on the rise. Hmm. If the mental health authority are giving money, the research allocations given to, say, Bank of Ghana, they should give some to the mental health authority, the Department of Psychology, Department of Sociology, yeah. Social Work. They should give some to them. So they begin to do research almost three years on to find out how people feel. Yeah. 
how do people feel getting trained as banking professionals, yeah. accounting professionals? How do people feel? This obviously will affect our educational investment. A number of people may not want to do banking and finance. Mm -hmm. A number of people may not want to do accounting simply because the very places we want to go, there are challenges because. who employ me. Yeah. So we create, we solve one problem. If we don't look at it holistically, we create many other problems, yeah. which will be very difficult to solve in and, the long and, run. And, you know, my, my director is just saying that for her, she doesn't understand why government had to wait for people. We have to wait for people to lose their jobs before we even find a way to get psychologists in and all of that. Can't we solve the problem without necessarily having these people affected as well? As a country, we are good at the vulture syndrome. That is how I call it. When it bursts, we fix. We fix and that yeah. is what we are good at. But we don't so, prevent it from... Exactly, we don't from, prevent it. Yeah. And I am hopeful with National uh, Planning Development Commission, mm -hmm. this should be one of their tasks, to help institutions plan yeah. ahead of events. Look at NADMO. Recently, we heard of the flood. The flood, The yeah. team they have, do they have psychologists? No. Meanwhile, when June 3 disaster occurred, we were there. We, were, yeah. we mounted privately our own stand just to support people I never because got we a failed. Psychologist. I was also affected. Oh, but we were even here on TV3. We can still help you. It's not late. Okay. We can still no, help you deal with a traumatic that. experience. I was affected because I was stuck. Well, you know, my old TV station used to be at Graphic Road. So yes. we had to stay there overnight. Overnight. And we could smell the, the smell of, you know, the fuel was exactly. in the water where we were. So yeah. if there was any fire at all, then we would have been affected as well. It's unfortunate. And we were saved by canoes. So I think there were some military men who also came out to support. And they brought canoes to our place. So I, I literally, that was my first time. So once again, so if, if, we, plan, things, if yeah. we plan along with teams, with the psychosocial support staff, yeah. that is how it should be. Rescue teams, you always have psychologists on board. Not most you have. I if we are cleaning up the financial sector, have we factored in the, the implications? If we are thinking of changing educational policies, have we factored in how it will affect people, parents, mm. how people will feel and all mm. those things? It's about time we begin to holistically look at how we incorporate psychology in, in every single every thing single that we thing. do. Because if the person is healthy, all decisions they take will be rational. Mm -hmm. yeah. If the person is healthy, they will take steps that will yield profits productivity mm. among others definitely a lot of deep insightful um you know comments by our doctor here and baba says that your guest is making a lot of impact with the information on psychological health as well bell says that bella please my investment has been locked up with sgl royal capital i've been trying to retrieve my money for over one year now someone please help me and diana says hmm, government do they even listen at all to anything Ha, huh, well, it's really sad, but then I hope that this has helped you one way or the other psychologically, um, you know, to help you deal with the situation. If, if you know someone who's going through it, I'm sure that doctor has given you a few tips on how you can support that person until, you know, the issue is resolved. Uh, and we hope that the monies would be retrieved um, yeah. soon. We yeah. hope so. Well, but Bella, let me just say that if you look at, especially in Accra, all our major hospitals, we have wellness and psycho support centers. Okay. 37, we have it. Mm. Ridge Hospital, Kolibu, Lekma, all these major centers. We have psychosocial support team. We just have to go there. It's about people having the right frame of thought oh. about mm. what psychology is about. Yeah. Psychology is not about mad ones, no. Mm. Anything that displaces you from your normal behavioral pattern could be a psychological issue. Okay. And just as I mentioned, if any life-changing event is making you behave differently, you need psychosocial support. Yeah. If people are overly stressed because of the situation, people even lose their sexual drive and sexual appetite as a result, as a result of what of is that. happening. Yeah. All these are psychological issues. They should just cl get closer to us. We mm. can give them professional support Definitely. so they stay alive reposition themselves, recapture how they used to live mm -hmm. and continue to move on. If they need adjustment, we can still can help support. them so they can adjust their lifestyles so they don't get overly affected 
with some of the challenges that we are facing. All right. Thank you so much. Dr. Collins Bedu Ajiman, he is a licensed business psychologist, also um, the acting coordinator for University of Ghana Pan-African Doctoral Academy, lecturer, Department of Psychology, University of Ghana. And the list is on and on. Lee psychologist at PSYCAP Business Solutions and a visiting professor at the University of South Florida, USA. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure Thank you very having much, you Isabella. on the show. And we'll definitely come and see you. Sure.